What's going on, Sumolings? It is Chris from AppSumo, and today I'm joined with Aaron, who is the CEO of Rebump, which we're going to be discussing in just a minute. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Rebump is a software that integrates with your Gmail and G Suite programs to automate the process of sending follow-up emails. It's available right now on AppSumo, starting off at just $49 for lifetime access. So we're going to be diving into it today in just a moment. Two quick pieces of housekeeping. One, if you have any questions for Aaron as we're going through this presentation, you can click on the Q&A button below the video, leave your questions there, and we'll circle back to those towards the end. And number two, if you miss anything or you got to pop out early, we'll be sending a replay um, later today. It takes a while to process. It'll be tomorrow morning, but we'll be getting that out to you so you guys can pick up on anything that you missed. But Aaron, I will turn it over to you at this point, and you can start, start walking folks through Rebump. Hi, hi, Chris. Hi, all the viewers. Um, I'm Aaron. I'm the CEO of Rebump. Um, and as you know, um, Chris, we're, we're in 2020 already, but everybody still uses um, email as, you know, the main primary way of, of communicating. Um, everybody wants their uh, emails responded to. There's nothing worse than sending an email and just waiting and all you get is, is crickets. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the answer for that, the obvious answer for that is follow up and follow up and just more follow up. But I don't have to tell anybody the worst job there is and the most tedious and boring thing is just doing manual follow up. So Rebump is here for, to the rescue for that. You know, if, uh, all you need to do is you set up Rebump. It automates your, your follow up for you. You set it up once and it does the work for you. You set it up and forget it. And uh, I'll, I'll take you guys through a, uh, uh, you know, I'll show you, show you around a little bit. But before, before I jump into that, I want to, you know, clear some, some terms that I'll be using. I want to make sure everybody understands what they are. Um, the word bump is, we use the word bump as instead of a follow-up. So we say, you know, you set up three bumps. We mean three follow-up messages. We also use the word rebump as a verb. So you, we rebump your message. Um, and also, um, we use the word rescued message uh, to indicate a, a message that was replied to because of a bump. So that's basically it, basically uh, all the terms. Um, let me just share my screen here and, and do a quick uh, review here. Tell me awesome. if you can see. Coming through clearly. Let us know in the comments, can you guys see Aaron's screen? Um, looks good to me. I'm going to turn off my video for the time being, but, um, yeah, looks great. Feel free to, uh, continue. Okay, great. So, um, let's jump right into the, to an account. We're not going to go through the process of setting up. We're assuming everybody is set up. Um, but one point I do want to make before I, uh, start is that for many people, um, they might not have downloaded the, the extension. It's very important in order to uh, utilize Rebump correctly is to make sure you have the, the extension. Um, you'll see on your screen, there's gonna be a small banner here um, that's gonna say, you know, give you a link directly to download the extension if you don't have it yet. Um, install it. Um, it's a Chrome extension, so it's only available for Chrome. However, if somebody does not use Chrome um, or if you're on your mobile, you can still use our BCC feature which uh, um, allows you to add a BCC to any message you send, and it works exactly like the extension. Um, I'll show you how, it, how it's used uh, a little bit uh, further down. Okay, so the first thing we'll be uh, showing is the bump setup page. So as you see here, we have three different, uh, three different tabs, emails, the bumps, and the account. So here in the bumps panel, is where you'd set up, you, we have a timeline. By default, um, as soon as you take Rebump out of the box, you'll have one sequence set up. Um, each sequence by default comes with four messages, four bumps. And as you can see in the timeline, this, this represents the original message. And then these represent each of the bumps. Um, each bump, is, uh, as I said, it comes right at the box. It has a pre-canned message, which you can edit by clicking on the edit button. We have a WYSIWYG editor, uh, which allows you to do some nice formatting. You can add images, uh, you can add links. Um, and if you're uh, 
you know, if you're familiar with HTML, you can play around with the source code itself. Um, also here, you would be setting the intervals when you want the message to be sent. So in this case, we have it one day after your original message. You can change that to any day up to 90 days. So you can send out up to 90 days from the original message. That would be your um, first bump. And then you can do the same thing with the next bump. And uh, here you can again set the intervals, set the message, customize it to whatever you need. As you can see here, um, I also added a variable for first name. That's for personalization. Um, let me show you a bit how that works. We have two kinds of uh, personalization. We, we have the auto, first name and last name. Um, the way that works is that it, this picks up the the first name and or the last name from the Google profile. So if you want to use this, you have to be sure that the, uh, the person has, the, re the recipient has a Google profile. Because if they don't have a, a Google profile, um, it would just show up as an empty space. Now, many people ask, um, will it show up if they, if they don't have a profile or if they don't have a, uh, uh, when they use the variables, what happens if they, we, um, if you didn't add the contact information, it will never, if, if you set this up correctly, it will never show the variable. In the worst case, if the information is missing, you'll have an empty space. Okay, so that, that explains the auto variables, but you can also set up your own variables, custom variables, up to five variables. Let me show you how that works. You can either, when you edit a message, you'll have here, edit or add variables. You click on that, or you have it on top of the page on the right side. You have personalize your bumps. When you click on that, it's gonna take you into the contact list for your, uh, for your messages. The way this works is you would add the contact information in here and uh, you you can set up like i said up to five columns i have here first name last name and company you can add another two um, so you would add the email address of the recipient their first name last name or whatever other information you want to use now you can add this manually like just adding it here and clicking on save and when you hover in it you can edit or delete you can also import a CSV file um, for all the instructions. If you click how, to, how it works, uh, it gives you all detailed instructions. Um, the other option, which I'll be showing you soon, is, and that a lot of people find that very handy, is that in Gmail itself, when you send a message, if the message is using variables and the information is missing from this list or is not complete, the Gmail itself the, 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 Chrome, the Chrome extension will pop up, a pop-up telling you that you're missing the information. This way you can add it right in there. So, um, and also in here, once you have a long list, you can use our, our search feature to find, uh, to see if you have this uh, contact information already. Um, so once you set this up, let's go back into the bumps page and show you uh, here, um, all you need to do to, to utilize the variables is just type in the variable, um, surround it, it exactly, spelled exactly the way you have it in your column, uh, your column name, and just make sure it's, it's surrounded by curly brackets, one set of curly brackets. Um, you can have up to 10 messages per, 10 bumps per sequence. Um, you can add or delete sequences or turn off um, sequences. I'm sorry, um, turn off bumps if you don't need them any further. You can also um, add a new sequence. You can have with the, with the AppSumo plan, you can have an unlimited amount of sequences. Um, all you need to do is click um, new sequence, new bump sequence, and it automatically creates a new sequence. You can edit the name and set it up. And I'm gonna show you that if we go into a specific sequence, um, it creates, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, for those that don't have the, the Chrome extension, you can use the BCC feature. 
Now, when using the BCC feature, you'll see every sequence has a different um, BCC address to use. You would copy this BCC address if you want to use the bump sale follow-up um, sequence and so further. If you go to a different one, the survey re request, you'll see that the email changed to bump plus, plus, sur plus survey request. Um, another thing is that you can, you can send a test message. So when you set up your, your sequences, you want to test it and see how it looks in, in Gmail. You would click on send test and it would send to this email. So the email on your account, it will send a copy of each one of the bumps to your inbox. So you can take a look um, how, uh, how it looks before you set it up finally. Um, if you have a variable, if, you're at, if you add your own email address, so the email address you're using. So in this case, I'm using the RB test 22 as a test email. If I would add that to my contact list, as I showed you before, um, then the, the variables can be tested in the test email itself as well. Um, I think that's it for this page. So let's jump right into Gmail and I'll show you how it looks there. When we go into Gmail, let me just move this out of the way here. When you go into Gmail, you'll see you if you have Rebump installed, the extension ex installed, you'll see you have the, the Rebump menu. Um, and when you click on the comp and to compose uh, an email, you'll see, okay, in this case, you'll see um, that you have a the Rebump checkbox. Um, the, the Rebump checkbox will show up in your email in the compose message itself. Um, just to want to point out for some people that the that have other extensions or limited space in their compose window, sometimes a Gmail will hide it behind a a menu. So let me show you how that looks. You might find in your Gmail a compose window a menu like this. When you click on it, it will show you the rebump um, checkbox. So in case you're missing it, it might be here. If you still don't see it, then chances are you haven't installed the Chrome extension. Okay, so let's go back here. Um, so if I, um, let's say I want to send an email to this message, to this email address, and if I click the, let's create a subject test email, and I click on the checkbox, you'll see it will automatically add that BCC address for you. And in this case, I, I'll show you soon, but you can set up the, you can set up the default um, sequence you want to use. So in this case, I'm using the, the sales follow-up uh, sequence. As you can see, if you want to change it, you click on this um, drop down and you can choose which which sequence uh, you want to use. Um, so let's put in something here, test. And in this case, you'll see because I don't have all the information in the contact list for this user, it's going to prompt me, it should at least, it's going to prompt me for uh, their contact information. So let's click on send. And as you see, it pops up a message. In this case, I have the mess the email address in the list already, but um, it's still it's missing the last name. Although I never I'm not using the last name, but the system knows that it's missing some information. It will prompt you right here to add this information. You can either choose to to uh, skip that or to update the information. So this is a good way if you don't want to upload a CSV in advance or manually add them in advance, this is a very useful way of adding um, a contact to the contact list. Okay, so that's all there is to sending a, uh, a message and adding a one. It's very, very simple. Um, just want to point out also another two things here in the menu. Here we have, uh, some basic, uh, you know, access to your account, feedback, etc. And here there's two settings. Actually, in this case, I don't know why it's not showing the other one. Let me refresh here for a moment. One second, let it load. Okay, show settings. Okay, here we go. Um, here, if you wish, some people want to send, uh, add rebum to every message they send, so you can set that by activate rebump on all emails by default. I actually don't want that. Um, the other thing is the pop-ups I just showed you, sometimes um, you might click on 
uh, you might not want to show it, or if you by mistake click don't show it again, you can turn that back back on here. Um, and that's all for the Gmail window. Let's pop back into the um, to your account, and let's show you the dashboard for the emails itself. So here we have the emails dashboard, and here you'll see all the emails um, within a, a few moments of, of uh, usually under you know a minute or two after you send your email, it will show up here. Um, let me see if this email. Yeah, here you go. The new, this is the, the message I just sent. So um, it shows you the last bump was the original message. In other words, there was no bumps for this message yet. This was sent today. Um, here we have the older messages. This message was sent on the 7th and the last uh, one bump was sent already, which is indicated here by these red dots. So we have four bumps um, set up for this sequence. Um, bump number one is already sent on the 9th, and the next bump is scheduled for the 13th at 9.05. Um, the time is not always exact. It's approximately. Uh, Rebump usually sends the messages um, about the same time of the day when you sent your original message. So if you sent the original message about 2 p.m., um, the, the follow-up will be usually be in the same time of the day. Um, here we have an inactive and complete tab, which uh, so all the messages here are the active messages which are currently bumping. The inactive and complete will show you all your old messages, uh, will show you um, how many bumps were actually sent, what happened in the end. So in this case, all the bumps were sent, but there was no reply, so it's gonna say no reply. Um, if one of the bumps were opened, you'll have this eye show indicating uh, that the message was opened. It's not the original message, it's just one of the bumps was opened, and it tells you when you hover on it, it's gonna tell you um, when it was open. Um, this tab doesn't have much, but let me show you in the next tab. There's a few different um, statuses for this. Um, there's the no reply, as I mentioned. There's a date, which indicates the day the, the date that you did receive a reply, so a message was rescued. Um, another possibility is was the message was bounced. When a message gets bounced, um, Rebump no longer will uh, send any bumps. It will ignore this message, it will cancel out this message. There's no use in sending um, follow-up for a bounced um, email. Another option would be uh, canceled. So I forgot to show you in the previous tab, um, uh, you can cancel a message. Let me go back there for a moment. Um, in the case, you, uh, Rebump only tracks the messages if they were um, if they were replied to in the same thread. So we'll only consider a message replied if a reply shows up in the same thread. However, there's sometimes when um, the recipient might call you or reply in a different thread. In those cases, you can actually come in here and cancel any message. You can search for a message. Um, and you can cancel it manually. Um, you can also do that on a bulk, um, on a, in a bulk way. So if you select all of them, you'll have this cancel uh, selected messages option and you can cancel them in bulk. Also here, um, you can see the, the uh, some stats here of how many messages you have sent in the past. You have one today, four over the last uh, 30 days, eight over the last six months and all time 119. And here, the same thing for messages rescued. How many messages were rescued because of uh, Rebump? Uh, usually it's much higher. <laughs> this is just my test account. Um, so you can, you can also filter this by the different sequences. So you can see which sequence, uh, the, the, message, the, the stats for each sequence. Um, that's all for this tab. Let's jump in quickly to the account tab. And uh, okay, in this case, um, I'm not in an AppSumo account. So for AppSumo users, you'll just see here that's an AppSumo account and there's not much to do here. Otherwise you would be able to update your credit card information here or some other options which don't pertain for AppSumo accounts. Um, here you can change the name that shows up on the email, um, on the bumps, the name of the, the, the sender. Here you can set the time zone you are in so that uh, all the settings will be based on that time zone. Here we have an option. Many people don't want bumps to be sent on 
the weekends so you can set um you can set it so that sunday let's say sunday and saturday no bumps go out you can also send set it that all, on monday through friday they only go out between 8 a.m and 6 p.m um here we have uh okay this is if some people want to have a copy of each message that gets bumped sent into their inbox they have the option to do that most people don't want that so it's automatically by default set not to send a copy um, an alternate email is for people that um, want to use their business domain name, which is not a Gmail or G Suite, Suite account. Rebump allows you to add one alternate email. Um, and the way that works is it allows you to send the original message. The original message you'll be able to send from this account, from the account you add here. So let's say you add uh, abc at uh, abc.com, you'll be able to send the original message from that email address. However, keep in mind, there's a limitation to this that only the original message will be coming from that email address. The bumps will be coming from the email address that's on the account. So whatever email address you signed up with, that's the 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 message, that's the email address the bumps will be coming from. I know it's, you know, it, it's not very useful for some people or for many people, but many people find that useful um, if they don't have a G Suite account. Um, you can also have, uh, choose to have a, an activity digest with, which will send you an email every morning or once a week or uh, once a month to give you an update on how many messages you sent, how many, how many were rescued, etc. This is for people who have a CRM um, and they want the CRM sometimes supplies you with a BCC address, um, which when you add that address, it will it will it will send a copy of the original message and of each bump to your to your CRM. So this way your CRM can be you, you can have all the information already in your CRM. Um, I mentioned when we were in Gmail that you can set the default, the default sequence to be to use in in Gmail. So you would set that right here. Also, by default, um, Rebump turns off the ability to CC a message when you rebump it. Um, the reason for that is is because Rebump is set that if you add a person as a CC which you can do after you activate this. And remember, anything you do, you have to apply the changes. But if you activate CC, you'll be able to add a CC to a, a message, but only the, the one recipient in the to field will be getting bumps. So the original message can be sent to all the, B, to all the CCs, but the bumps will only be sent to the one recipient in the to field. Um, expired bumps. This is a very useful feature when when you send out a uh, a sequence of bump a sequence of bumps to one person uh, to any person and they did not reply, um, and you want to be notified that this the all the bumps. Let's say you had four bumps that all the bumps were sent, but the person never replied. So you can do your own further follow up. Um, so if you have this send, uh, set, it will send you a cop, uh, uh, an email about two days after the last bump to let you know that no one responded to this, um, to this message. Um, below here, you have some instructions. If you're using this alternate email, make sure you read the instructions below uh, to set it up exactly correctly for your environment. Um, I think, Chris, I think we covered everything or almost everything like I said, it's very simple. Rebump is very simple to use. Um, and with that, I think if there are any questions, um, yeah, that I was take great. some Thank questions. You. Thank you for going through all that. The, uh, sure. the one question that we have is how many emails can I send it once? Do the bumps stop once the prospect replies? Um, and can I use this with reply button, which was another AppSumo tool we launched? Okay. Um, so, uh, Let's take one at a time. How, I'm, how many I'm, emails can I send at once? Yes. Okay. At once, um, Rebump doesn't send your original emails. Rebump is only a follow-up. So whatever you use, if you're using Gmail to send your, your, your email, you can send only one at a time and add Rebump. If you're using some kind of other, you know, mass email or some people, let's say, use Yam, yet another mail merge, um, you can send as many as you want as long as you add a BCC 
the in that case you would use the BCC feature we showed here so you can add the BCC address so let's say I know in YAM um, you can just add another column call it BCC and add this BCC address to every row and it would send to every to every it would bump every message mm -hmm. so whatever tool you use just make sure you're using something that allows you to add a BCC field to the original message got it Okay. So what was the second question? Uh, do the bumps stop once the prospect replies? Yes. As soon okay. as the uh, a rebump um, um, recognizes a reply, which it does, um, it does twice. Once it, it 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 checks it right away, and also right before the bump is scheduled to go, it will do another check just to double check and make sure we don't uh, send uh, uh, a bump to somebody who replied already. Excellent. So there, was, there was one more question. Does this work with a reply button? The truth is I didn't try it, but I do not see a reason it should not work mm -hmm. from what I understood from reading that, uh, that deal. Awesome, okay. Um, a couple more questions have come in. Okay. Um, how do you do the free transfer to different email address? Is there a limit on how many times you can do the free transfer to a different email address? Okay, I would be, they would need to send in a request and we would do it. Um, there is no official limit as long as it's a reasonable amount. I mean, if somebody's gonna be changing it every day, obviously that's gonna be a problem. But uh, if you do it on, on, in a reasonable amount, we have no issue with that. It's free, it's no problem. Awesome, okay. Um, and the last one, uh, let's see. I came in late and do you, uh, you may have already addressed this, but can Rebump work with Office 365 or Outlook? Rebump can use it can as long as your email address is a, a Gmail or a G Suite address. If you're using um, Outlook as your client, you can use Rebump with the BCC feature. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Um, those are all of the questions we have. The last thing, if you could navigate over to the AppSumo deal page and kind of show what is included specifically in this deal. Sure. Uh, you want me to read them? Each of these you, items. You don't have to go through every one, but just kind of the, the high level pieces, uh, whichever pieces that you think are the most important ones. Okay, um, you're talking about the top or the features here? Um, yeah, so the, the top, you're getting lifetime access to it, uh, to Rebump right. um, with the, it's the unlimited plus plan, is that right? Yes, that's the highest and, plan we have. Okay, it's so $49 for lifetime access and you get all of the all these features in here. Um, which, right. Okay. Okay, awesome. so you get the unlimited uh, messages, so there's no limit. As you know, uh, Gmail has their own limit, but as far as the rebump goes, there's no limit. Um, uh, you get unlimited sequences. You can customize the bumps. You can customize the intervals. Um, you can specify the days and times. I show all these things. Um, work with most email clients, like I just mentioned. You can use that, uh, do that with the BCC feature. Uh, you have the Activity Digest. Um, it integrates with your existing CRM, as I showed with the BCC um, thing that you can add in the account page. We're also hoping to add Zapier, um, so that might make it easier to integrate with other CRMs. Um, you can use the alternate email address, as I showed, um, up to 10 bumps per message. Um, that means per, right, for each, for each message, you can have 10 bumps. Um, it tracks if the bumps were opened or read. Um, obviously, we, uh, as, as you saw, that was somewhat limited here. We hope to be upgrading that and adding much more, a much more robust um, tracking system. Um, you can personalize the bumps with, uh, with the variables. Um, you can have multiple unlimited amount of, of bump sequences. It's a Chrome extension. And as I mentioned before, you can trans, you get a free transfer uh, to a different email address if you change. Awesome. Okay, very cool. Um, well, that is that is all. We, oh, last question: Does it integrate with Infusionsoft? Um, I am not f uh, familiar with uh, Inf Infusionsoft, but if if they allow you to use the um, if they allow you to to use the CRM, I, I'm assuming it's it's a, a CRM, correct? Yes. So the, I'm assuming if they have a BCC address, you can do the same as I mentioned before. Hopefully, um, Zapier. Uh, will allow you to integrate directly. And as I mentioned, we hope to add Zapier soon. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to go through all of this, Aaron. Uh, super sure. helpful. I appreciate you doing this deal and offering this to the, the AppSumo community as well. Um, yeah, people are people are loving it. Getting uh, already has nine reviews. Again, if you guys do check it out and you and you purchase uh, 
Rebump, please, please, please leave an honest review. If you think it deserves uh, five tacos, then please leave that. But, but it's more important for you to be honest so you can help, uh, help other Sumo Links find this and get a good idea of what it is. Um, but Aaron, again, thank you very much. Appreciate sure. you coming on. And I'm, I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Thank you. All right. Take care. Have a great night. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Sumo Links.